Buonasera a tutti. Are you really doing what you want? Are you really doing what you want? It was a question that I made myself several times in life. And if you close your eyes and you have one image in your mind when you say, I'm living my legend, what do you see? Try it for yourself. And try to see how you see yourself living your legend. I saw something like this. Staring over a beautiful landscape full of energy. It gave me a lot of energy, this image. Today I want to take you on a trip using my photos through my brain because I've lived quite a transition for the last couple of years, five years. And basically I had a job in the corporate world as a sales manager and now I'm a visual storyteller. So what happened in between? Well, um, Story Travelers, I'm the co-founder of Story Travelers which is a small collective of visual storytellers and basically we roam the world in search for authentic stories to create our visual and artistic interpretation of the cultures and emotions of the place and we are commissioned by tourism boards or whoever wants to promote his region um, using emotional images after this speech, there's going to be a performing video in which you can see what kind of uh, storytelling it is. So I hope you want to see that. And this is actually the place where I live now. It's Matera in the south of Italy. It's a beautiful place. And it's actually also relevant because I started actually with nothing. It's a new um, street, a new way to um, give myself a new profession. And then actually it's not like the epicenter of the world, it's not New York or whatever, but i still been able to create my own story. So, living your legend. What is that about? I think living your legend is about doing what you really want, doing what really what you're passionate about and also focus on your talents. What are you really good at? And sometimes it's even more obvious than you think. But moreover is having the courage to actually follow that street, to really be persistent. Actually, it's quite a relevant uh, topic because if you start Googling, then you will find that a lot of people actually are not very, very happy with their jobs. A lot of people uh, are doing something that they actually not doing because they like it. And that's actually crazy. <coughs> you're doing actually something to maintain and uh, to earn money to maintain the thing that you're not doing. And I thought myself a question also many several times, what am I doing? And if you if you ask yourself, what is my life path? And why am I following my life path? Is it because I really want it, or is it because my parents said so, or it's expectations, or it's uh, something external, or is it because I really feel that it's my, my street? And I would say for myself, what I, um, what I really learned is the biggest and the most important navigator in, in the world in your own life is your own heart. It's actually the life choices, I make life cho choices with my heart and use my brain to uh, give shape to that. And that brought me to a point where I can say, okay, I'm, I'm trying to live my legend and it helped me a lot.
but you need to have courage to, to overcome fears as well. And I've got one simple philosophy actually about life, why we are here and, and why you should live your legend. And it is because we're here to flower, to flourish. We're actually here to show our colors and to grow. I've got a funny story because I've got a cactus on my balcony and the cactus that actually is the whole year the same, but one day it starts to flourish. And the great thing is that when it flourishes, at the end of the day, it dies, the flower. And I was asking, why is the cactus doing that actually? Like, 300, more than 360 days it's like that, and one day it's flourishing. Because the beauty of flourishing is, is more important than the rest of the days. So that was for me a strong um, symbol actually to, um, to concentrate on that. Um, I would like to take you on a, on a short story, and it starts with this creation. I asked my mother, it always said actually, you are a creative. And I also like to explore boundaries and I like to explore new countries. And it didn't always have like a, a good ending because I got hit by a car sometimes and I broke my, my arm. But how, why did it take me 32 years to actually um, find out that I actually could do something with those things, with my creativity and with my curiosity to, to, to discover new places. And then me, working as a unit director, I was responsible for 200 uh, co-workers. And, well, it was actually a very uncomfortable situation. And why did I actually leave that? Maybe that was not a very wise decision. It was a combination of going away and being kicked away because I was not living my legend in, uh, in a certain way. And that's me a few months later, uh, spending all my money actually on a, on, a, on a trip of my life in Africa. And I was 30 years old and I was converting my, my money into experiences. Which maybe not everyone agrees, like what are, what are you doing there in Africa? Are you, aren't you producing anything? But it's one, it's one of the best decisions that I could ever take actually in life. But then you come back and I was very happy and um, but then there's a moment that you have to shape your life again. 30 years old, no money, um, actually um, no house. <laughs> what, what do you do? So I tried a, a whole year of different things, organizational consultancy and I knew that I didn't want to go into the corporate context anymore. Um, but what else? Actually, um, I got an email one day from the Hub, which is a co-working space, and it said, we're looking for a blogger that goes to Cambodia and tells the local stories. And I saw this email and said, yeah, but that's what I want to do. Why was I just looking around? This is what I want to do. So I responded to this guy and we made an appointment and we had a good click and we found story travelers uh, about um, telling places in a different way. Um, but then again, okay, beautiful plan, but what are you going to do? So I, I was actually quite an okay photographer, and so I made some, some nice pictures and we made a nice slideshow. We went to the biggest uh, tourism um, conference in, in London, the world, the WTM, and we collected a lot of leads. A lot of uh, people found a very interesting story, but then I needed to make business with, with this. Um, and that was the moment actually that I got also stuck again because I was writing proposals and uh, it was raining in Amsterdam and I felt quite dis de uh, depressed. So I understood that I needed to do something else, that I really needed to do to break the ice. And then I started visualizing like my legend, how would it look like? And this is actually a very interesting method. It's about, um, it's, a, it's called the visual board. And you can do that with a group of friends, and I did so. And you basically um, grab from magazines all the, the images that, that, 
yeah, that resonate with you. So I made this collage, and actually the great thing is it came through. It came through. Even like the, the little planes on the right down, it looks like a theater where I live now, and, and uh, all the little pictures and the different countries. Uh, there's uh, Canada, and there's uh, Germany, and I actually work for the National Tourism Board now. So, like your, your imagination can be like a strong predictor, but maybe I didn't predict it, maybe I created it already in my head. And uh, in hindsight, I really understood that jumping into a new experience, out, of, out in something new, as, as if you are like a little, little chicken without uh, feathers, and you have to fly uh, before you hit the ground, that's actually a very strong uh, uh, symbol for me. So, uh, I went to Italy and uh, I was funded for five months by the European Union with uh, Erasmus Entrepreneurs. And so I could fly around for five months. And I, I tasted here and there and smelled the color of Italy and actually I uh, called up hotels and tour operators can I please uh, stay in your place and you will get pictures of me? So it was a sort of trade off, but still no income. So after five months, the show was maybe over, and I had a moment that I thought, what am I doing? I'm 31 years old, why was that? Name? And I'm not earning any money. All my friends have business jobs and doing well and suffering with children. And and I'm here with my suitcase of my grandma, which doesn't close anymore, and I don't have any place to go. Shall I just give up? And I did, because I really, I really went inside and said, what does my heart say? Do I really want this, and why am I doing this? It's because I see something. So I, I decided to go on, and from that, a lot of beautiful things happened. Like the, the, the project where I, where I was working on became a marketing campaign very interesting in, in Italy and it got awarded and then um, I expanded like a horizon to uh, internationally and from that on I had work all the time and I, I met my love and so that's here thank you for all your support and so a lot of beautiful things happened when I opened the doors and, and, and believed that it was possible and but maybe the most important thing, and you, you read it everywhere, but really believe in yourself and believe in your own ability to create. And if I look back at the first videos that I made, and the first, the first photos, it's like how did I, how, how did I uh, believe that I was create, that I was going to earn money with it? That someone would call me up, I want to have a video of you. But for some reason, I believed it, and it's the first step in the chain of. of also the things that can happen in your life. And I've learned that you have to be so patient because I didn't have any study. I studied organizational sciences and, uh, in Amsterdam, in university. I didn't study any uh, photography or uh, videography. So I, my best friend YouTube taught me everything. And, but it's like 10,000 10, hour rule. I did really 10,000 hours of editing and, and, and trying, and now I'm actually on a level that, that I get sought after, which is, uh, takes a lot of effort. So for me, it's important to challenge myself to provoke change, but also to change myself to provoke challenge. And um, the most important thing that I learned is uh, maybe you can have a goal, but it's, life is a journey, it's happening now. And every part of the journey is unique because it's in the now. And thank you for listening.